The dust has finally settled after the emotional roller coaster of this season's Married at First Sight blockbuster. Three happy couples have survived the social experiment. They're still together and tell us they hope it stays that way. For one of them, the sound of wedding bells may be chiming in the distance. A few months after the most eye-popping finale in MAF's history was recorded and Beck's bombshell blunder revealed... That was my brother. A few questions remain. Like, how was that video discovered? And how many couples who found love on the social experiment are still going strong on the outside? Let's go there first. And the answer is three. Making this year the most successful experiment ever. And who they are may surprise you. On a damp Melbourne morning, with a hot coffee ready, we find a pair that don't need sugar to be sweet enough. Pat, Belinda, MAPS is finished now and we're a few months down the road. Are you still together? Yes, we are yes, still we together. Are. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On this morning, it's affection on the menu, rather than... Holy moly, guacamole. Well, I don't think I spit out words. And, I, you know, I thought she was beautiful straight away when I sort of walked down the, the stairs, like in trip over. I and, know. I was <laughs> and, um, Yeah, and it just, holy moly, guacamole came out. <laughs> From that day through the ups and downs of the social experiment, Pat and Belinda had a connection that grew week by week. I think what I like about Pat is that he is um, quirky and a bit weird like me. So I think because we really mesh in that way, it just makes you more comfortable. What are the weird things about Pat? <laughs> Oh gosh, what I start? Oh, I mean the weird. <laughs> sorry, they were like you know. I mean the weird sayings, just like things we we both do. But Patrick and Belinda aren't rushing. They still live apart on different sides of Melbourne, but enjoy spending time together on regular dates. We've gone to day trips. Um, we are even going to um, like a just like a, to Ocean Grove, like down the beach this this weekend, which would be really nice. And we've done bowling, and so just keep it like fun. Up north in Queensland, there's none of Melbourne's drizzle, but there is another loved up couple. We've actually gone back to normal life and we've sort of maintained our relationship and gotten stronger. The pair are making it work with Johnny in Brisbane and Kerry on the sunny coast. But can they see a time when there's more than just the two of them to consider? <laughs> God, I've learned my lesson about commenting about children because last time I said kids, are, you know, I never really considered it before and now, you know, I see Johnny with his nieces and nephew. I made that mistake last time and apparently now I'm pregnant, so I'm going to avoid that question. Just the three of us. <laughs> no. As a couple who've both been married before, they also aren't rushing. But might there be another impending nuptials down the road? Okay, I was one to say that I was never going to get married again. But since we've left, like I could, and since our, you know, uh, our lifestyles work and, and, and our relationship seems to be getting stronger and stronger, don't look at me like this, but I would, I would, I wouldn't say no to getting married what? again one day. This in writing, this is new. <laughs> Thank you so for asking that. Oh, would you? Yeah, of course. Are you proposing? No. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Got it. That was clearly a maybe moment. But for our last couple, there does seem to be some major news on the wedding front. But before we tell you who they are, what about the moment the whole country is talking about? A video filmed during the experiment showing Rebecca kissing a man who was not her husband, Jake, on a trip home to Perth. So how did this video ever see the light of day? Well, when Rebecca went back to Perth, producers gave her a phone to capture her video diaries. And when she returned, she handed the phone back in with the video still on it. How that happened or whether Rebecca even knew that this moment had been captured, well, they're questions for her. Which brings us to our last surviving couple. Never far from the spotlight, but still in love months after the social experiment finale. Very much so, and uh, very happily in love. <laughs> Good to hear it. 
The experiment is a learning experience and a reflective Bryce shares what he's learnt about life and love with Melissa. Let's be honest, I did put her through the ringer, through the experiment a fair bit, uh, maybe just a little bit, but uh, I think just getting to know her and just how genuine and loyal she is, um, we all saw it on the show, um, she stood by me through thick and thin. Melissa approached the drama of the experiment with a quiet but strong resolve and hopes now the show's over and she's back at work in the public service, people will give them space to live their lives. Everyone's seeing, you know, only a certain amount of footage and it was filmed over three months and I can wholeheartedly say that we have a very loving, healthy relationship. The pair are now living together in coastal Victoria and firmly believe in a future together. Look, we've got plans of formalising the marriage. Uh, it's no secret when you get married on married at first sight, it's not legal and we would like to do that. You did mention that you're talking about marriage. Has, has there been a proposal? Seb, don't give away a secret just yet, mate. Uh, <laughs> there may be a ring purchased. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see when that time is right. And uh, Don't give me that look. Is this news to you, Melissa? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing formalises yet, but when the time's right, we'll go down that course of the process, I'm sure.